Running raised bed garden systems are awesome, but what do you do with the runoff water? I added a, uh, a drain spout right here. And so this is the standard one that comes on the like a bottom of like a swamp cooler or something like that. Then I have a, a small little garden hose and it goes down into this and then it goes into what I call a, a drain port. This is the 3D printed part that's on the inside of the garden bed. Uh, allows it to kind of drain down inside the uh, the garden hose. So here's the one and a half inch pipe. Goes all the way to the bottom, has an angle, and it just comes out over here and it has an end cap and I just have a bunch of holes. Just something real simple, lots of holes. And then I have a, a port on the side of this bucket. Comes out and then it goes to a splits for, uh, for three little elbows. And so this is kind of like my overflow. And then it goes across this pipe into the air. And then I have this other one, so just in case um, the filter is full. What I can do is I can I can have it overflow up here and just bypass and just dump it into my sump so I can still pump the water up out and then go into my tote. Uh, 20 pounds of pool filter sand. So this is the one I'm using. I can go ahead and put a link down below um, so you can see that. But so we're filling it up right now so we see, you can see the uh, water going down the pipe. Okay. Maybe not yeah, too, too well through this, but it's obviously filling up here. And then it's going, to, it's going to go ahead and so it's percolating through and now it's just going to start draining through the uh through the intake section so now if you end up putting a coupler on this tube uh, and then uh, drilling a hole uh, that's two inches and then seal the, uh, the lid uh, this should help out with the pressure be able to get the water flow to be able to do maximum flow over to the uh, the pump and then the whole thing runs off of my solar uh power that's available for my shed pumping it out it goes up this tube right here there's an air vent and then it just dumps it down this way and then I added a small little uh, little tube right here, so that way I could have a, a visual indicator, makes it be able to tell uh, how much water is actually inside my my tank here. Now that's DIY efficiency.